All right, so let's go back and let's remember what happened. So there was a story about Hunter Biden's laptop and remember you weren't supposed to talk about it. That's what mainstream media said, right? Don't talk about the, the laptop story. Well, obviously that has resurfaced thanks to an article by the New York, I believe it was the New York Times that posted it. And that resurfaced last week. But what I noticed is that certain networks are not talking about the information that they found. They're not discussing it at all. So let's go ahead and go into this article here. Hunter Biden scandal, CNN, MSNBC, ABC, CBS, and NBC completely avoided the New York Times report verifying laptop emails from 2020. Well, what do you know there, folks? Imagine how that happened. There's Hunter. Let's go ahead and get into this story. It was once routine that damning reports about the president published by the New York Times would lead nearly every news program. That is no longer the case, at least under President Biden. The Times ran a lengthy story Wednesday diving into the Justice Department's ongoing investigation of Biden's son, Hunter, and how a grand jury is still collecting witnesses, testimony, and records regarding his business dealings overseas. The Times also verified explosive emails, first published by the New York Post in October 2020, just weeks before the presidential election, that implicated then-candidate Biden, despite public denials he had nothing to do with his son's finances. So let me come forward for just a second. I think we all know what's going on here. Obviously, Joe Biden is not telling you the truth. Surprise, surprise. Wouldn't be the first time. But if you remember, Joe Biden made sure that this story would be hush. Again, they told you, you're not supposed to talk about it. Back then, actually, I was on uh, RT back when uh, RIP RT. I went on RT and that was one of the, the questions that came up that we discussed on that panel. The name of that show was Crosstalk with Peter Lavelle. And that was one of the things that came up was, why can't we talk about it? <laughs> why can't we talk about it? You know, so one of the things that I told myself is that imagine if it wasn't Hunter Biden, let's pretend it was one of Trump's kids. Let's pretend, pretend it was Donald Trump Jr. Could we talk about it then? I bet you we could. I bet you I'm willing to bet we could talk about it then. But because it's Joe Biden's son and Joe Biden is the current president, we're not supposed to talk about it. This is the bias that you see come from mainstream media. Now, obviously, Fox News is talking about it, but that's also kind of bias because, again, if it was Trump's son, would Fox News be covering the story the way that they're covering it right now? Probably not. But the liberal media outlets are purposely avoiding this story. Now, if you're supposed to be a journalist, you're supposed to report the news. You're not supposed to decide that you're not going to discuss a story, a, a damning story, by the way, that you're not going to discuss it because the person that you have allegiance to, who is a Democrat, Joe Biden, is president of the United States, and it can implicate him. And because it's about his family, you don't get to just say, I'm not going to talk about that story. That's not good journalism. That's not good commentary. You still should cover the story. And the fact that they're refusing to even cover it just goes to show you just how biased they are. And this is the propaganda that we get from mainstream media. I'm going to go back into the article. Boop, boop, be doop. Since Wednesday evening, the Times report has received zero attention on the five major networks. ABC, CBS, and NBC made no mention of Hunter Biden on their morning and evening newscast on Thursday or Friday, according to Graben transcripts. Neither CNN nor MSNBC dedicated time to the ongoing scandal, despite being 24-hour news networks. And that's another thing I do want to comment on. If you're live 24 hours, how could you not mention this story? You have a better chance hearing about this story from me 
<laughs> and other left independent media networks, you have a better chance hearing about it from independent media than you do from mainstream media. This is where we are now. But they say, don't listen to us. They say we're fake news. Hmm. All right. Going back in. Additionally, CNN media correspondent Brian Stetler also ignored the Times report in his media centric, reliable sources newsletter, but managed to squeeze in a mention about Meghan Markle's newest podcast. Uh, this is the perfect example of distraction. They would rather you focus on the fact that Meghan Markle has a podcast than the fact that the president and his son have an issue here with this laptop and the information that's on it. And I don't know everything that's on it. I've heard stories, but I don't have like confirmation of that. But I've heard some things about what's on that laptop and they want to distract you from that. They do this a lot with celebrities and I want you to pay like close attention to this. A lot of times they want to distract you with celebrity news. Could be something stupid like Kim Kardashian wore a half see-through dress into a restaurant while waving. They'll focus on things like that so that you're not paying attention to what's really going on. And I, I tell people that's part of the propaganda with mainstream media. They focus on the issues that they want you to focus on. And so you have to start paying attention to the issues that they're not talking about. And that's why I'm here. And that's why other people from independent media a lot of times are here as well. We want to draw your attention to those stories or there's information that they've left out of those stories that they don't want you to know about. We're here to fix that, to fill that hole. So that's important for people to note. Going back in, doobie doobie doo. All right, so let's go down here. In November, the five networks avoided another Times report that alleged an investment firm that counts Hunter Biden among its founders helped a Chinese company purchase one of the world's most lucrative coal bat mines from an American company while his father was vice president. Renewing concerns about potential conflicts of interest and whether the now current president had any knowledge about his son's business dealings, which he had previously denied. The legacy media collectively disregarded the report from the New York Post that shed light on Hunter Biden's questionable financial ties, suggesting it was all right-wing conspiracy or that it was the product of Russian disinformation. How did I know they were gonna try to use that? You know who else they've used that against? Jill Stein. They tried to say Jill Stein was a Russian asset. Remember that? Anybody who tends to reveal some type of information that they don't want you to know about, all of a sudden we all work for Russia. We're a Russian bot. I said something recently on LinkedIn and I was pointing out that there's a lot of hypocrisy with what's going on right now with Ukraine that everybody wants you to care about the people in Ukraine, but they are totally ignoring the damage that is being done to people in Somalia and Yemen and Afghanistan. They're not talking about it. They want you to focus on the Europeans. They don't want you to focus on the people of color abroad. I mentioned that. Do you know someone commented and said, nice try Russian bots. I'm like, what? I'm a real person, you idiot. You could easily just click on my profile. You could see there's a real person. You can see my channel, my YouTube channel. You can see clips from my videos. They didn't even choose to look at that. They just assumed I'm a bot. This is where we are now. I'm gonna go back into the story. Oh my God, it was unbelievable, unbelievable. CNN top executives, including then president Jeff Zucker, and political director David Chalian were caught telling staff on a conference call they were spiking the post reporting on Hunter Biden, according to leaked audio tapes published by Project Veritas. In the days leading up to the 2020 election, 
personalities on CNN, MSNBC, CBS, and NBC all downplayed the Hunter Biden scandal, while ABC News completely ignored the story. Brian Stetler, a staunch defender, whoopsie, of the establishment media, who has a reputation among critics as being a hall monitor, was confronted by Washington Times correspondent Susan uh, Ferricho as the as the Hunter Biden scandal was unfolding in October 2020. A rare moment for anyone in the media to be pressed about the dismissal of the New York Post reporting. And here's the tweet here. It says, this is coming from the Washington Examiner, says, at Brian Stelter, don't you dare. Don't you dare act like newsrooms didn't have ethics in 2017 and 2018. Susan responds and says, or excuse me, they also say at Susan, you can don't dare me all you want, Brian. I've been doing this for years, for 30 years. Susan and Brian clash over the Hunter Biden story versus Steele dossier. Uh, listen to this. There is anything real in them. Yeah, but and that doesn't stop any from, from, from reporting the Mueller and the dossier and all that I know stuff. You're bitter. Now, I understand that you have a lot of resentment oh, about this. Now, now we have ethics. Okay, now I, we have ethics. Now, that now it's don't you dare, don't you dare act like newsrooms didn't have ethics in 2017 and 2018. Well, I you know, know they, they did. did. So, well, you can't, you can don't dare me all you want, Brian. I've been doing this for 30 years. So say whatever you want. It's my view. And if I have a right to say it, I was so invited on the So your view is that the news media was unethical with Mueller? Fine. Hang on, say one at a time. I don't quite yeah, get it's what you're saying. It's my view. So. Let, me, let, me bring, let me bring in Sarah Fisher, and then I want to move on to Google briefly. But go, go on, Sarah. Say, I think this conversation is so critical. Even though it can get tenuous, it's actually a matter of, can you have two things be true at once? Can you have a story that needs scrutiny from all outlets? Because we don't know whether or not it's true, right? Axios, we're all right. trying to figure out whether or not this story is true, and we deserve to do that. But we also need to think about the bigger picture, which is, God forbid, this story was tied to some sort of bigger um, disinformation effort to penetrate our elections. We also need to consider that. And that's why I think it's critical that you're not just seeing, you gotta see the forest through the trees. You gotta look at this particular story about the Hunter Biden. Yeah, but no one looked through the forest through the trees with the president. I mean, it's always one-sided. Now it's time to look at the forest. I, all I'm saying is let's do it universally, okay? I didn't, I didn't discard the Mueller stuff. I was much more skeptical because I knew the sourcing. And I knew where I came from on Capitol Hill, where I have stood in the building for the past few decades. I had real reason to doubt that stuff, and I constantly did. And it turned out a lot of it was a bunch of bunk. So when you say Mueller stuff, there are people in prison. We have to use that skepticism. We have to even now with the Biden stuff. So let's use the skepticism, but don't ignore it. Okay, so let's just Brian come back in this, and then I'm going to ask Tony to help us through the Google case. Uh, Brian, go ahead. I, I agree with you; it should not be ignored. But not. A, I think there's a difference between reporters looking into it in their newsrooms versus going on the air with it when it's unvetted. And what oh, we're in sure. right now is this break. Between... You never did that with Trump stuff. That, that's just BS. Hang on a second, Susan. Go ahead, Brian. Yeah, yeah, Susan, yeah, you have no just, idea just how this newsroom just, just operates. If you both speak, we can't hear either of you. Brian, go ahead. I understand. Let me just say briefly: it's grievance politics. It comes from the right. It happens every day. Newsrooms in America are very careful about this stuff. I know viewers and readers don't see it, but it happens every day. Slow, cautious vetting happens every day. Okay, I do want to move on. He's lying. Let's be clear, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Brian is lying. Brian is letting you know he is not going to discuss this unless he is pushed to or forced to by the network. Let's be clear. What Susan said was correct. He didn't do that with Trump. In fact, anytime something came out against Donald Trump, they couldn't wait to jump on it. CNN couldn't wait to talk about it. Even if they didn't have all the information, they would still talk about it. Am I right or am I wrong? They would even tell you, well, uh, this is all we know at this time. They didn't waste one second. Any story about Trump, Trump walked outside and his toupee fell off. I actually don't know if Trump has a toupee, but still, even a story like that, they couldn't wait to jump on it. Now you have more evidence about Hunter Biden's laptop. You mean to tell me you need more information? Since when does CNN need more information? How many times have they reported stories that were incorrect? How many times? Sometimes they would come back and retract them, but sometimes they didn't come back and retract those stories. So let's be real. Brian is just Brian is just trying to save himself. He's not talking about that story because the network told them not to. 
because it's a liberal media and they're trying to protect the liberal politicians. It's going to get to the point, I think, for them to talk about this. People are going to have to release more information from that laptop, maybe some screenshots. You guys don't know. I love to screenshot. <laughs> That's why when I tell you, when I come forward with things, I have receipts. So this is ridiculous. He's caught. Let's be real. He's busted here and he's just trying to save face. Those networks didn't talk about it because they were told not to. Whoever is higher up, whether it was the producers or the people who own the networks, told them not to talk about it. That's not how journalism used to be. I went to school for broadcast journalism. If you're new, you may not know that about me. Study broadcast journalism in English. Back then, we were told that when you're going out and you're reporting a story, you're just supposed to report the facts. That's not what you see today. You don't see that on CNN. You don't see that on MSNBC. You don't see it on Fox News. You don't, you just don't see that. Let's be real. These networks are biased. Fox News is the conservative news network. CNN is the liberal news network. Everybody pretty much knows that. Just keeping it real. Just keeping it real. I'm gonna go to some of the comments in the chat. God, they kill me. All bulls aside says crosstalk is still around. Dude films from Moscow and is still on RT. I have to, they took that down. They took them down on YouTube too, but I'll, I'll double check. Marcus Cage said there's Fabby doing fake news again. <laughs> Alex M says have Max Blumenthal on your show. He's been on here. I do need to bring him back on though. Thank you for reminding me. Mario said, I had a crush on Svetlana back in middle school. They got me early. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Natalie said, I was named after a Russian American actress, so I must be pro Russia. There you go. They come up with all of it. Thanks for the super chat, Craig. The current conflict is directly connected to five years of Russia gating. Thank you so much for that. 100%. So you want to talk about reporting stories. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. They're still on Odyssey. Okay, I didn't realize that. I'll have to check that out. I'll have to check that out. Um, Yipper99 said, Savvy in elementary school, when you write a report, you have to have facts and supporting details. Elementary school. That's true. That's true. But it's just, I don't know, man. I don't know. And of course, Tucker Carlson and Rachel Maddow tried to say that technically they're not news, they're infotainment. So that's how they're able to get away with what they do. But I'm sorry, but like Rachel Maddow reported on Russiagate and she was on this Russiagate train like for a while. Like, let's be real, guys. And she was wrong. <laughs> like, oh my God, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. <laughs> 